YouTube here. This is Alligator Killer ninety eight. All right. Um, a couple things I wanted to talk about, talk to you guys about is my iguana cage and my veiled chameleon cage. All right. Starting with my iguana cage, I actually, me and my dad actually made this. This is actually a big TV stand. Your TV would go inside of it, and we made it into an iguana cage. We picked it up for about thirty five bucks off Craigslist. Thought it'd be a good cage, and for right now it is. Um, yeah, the glass is cracked right here, but these metal pieces on top have clips on the inside, and we can take them out, and we're going to re be replacing it with a piece of plexiglass. And the top is, we got a big piece of uh, wood, and we put that on top, cut a hole in it so the light can go in it, and that's that's the first lid. Second light is a screen lid. That's so I can, one way I can get in there and spray him. But I usually just use the door on the side. That's an, an, where another light can go in. Right here is the door. How I get in and spray, clean the water bowl, put food in. It's got underneath the sand there are they're like waterproof they're waterproof um mats that are under there and they're caulked up all the way around so no water can get under the wood. It's all the whole back and the back's got plastic sheeting, double layer plastic sheeting all along the back. And it's caulked all the way down the sides. All the way. We put cheetah print, um, a background on there because there was nothing else big enough that would fit on there. So we got that. And then we put wood in. We got rocks, water bowl, food bowl, big piece of the dried out wood for him to get up on, lights. And he gets sprayed and fed probably four times a day. I'm trying to get him real big. We're going to be making him another... We're going to get rid of this tank, put it outside for sale, and that whole corner is actually going to be his cage. So, there'll be an update on that when I get around to making it. That This is just my Western Ribbon Snake and two Butler court, uh, Gardener Snake tank. Uh, this ain't custom. This is this set my ball. It's a 40 long water bowl piece of petrified wood, fake exoterra plants. It's got oak bedding. It's they call it it's like snake bedding I've got from uh PetSmart. There's my western ribbon snake. That is my butler, one of my butler gardener snakes. The other butler gardener snake is laying across its tails in the water and his head's on top of the western ribbon snake. That's their setup. UVB bulb right there in the corner. Heat bulbs around. This is just my red belly piranha tank. My supply drawer. Care sheets. Cricket food. Calcium. Reptisafe. Reptocal. Got my tweezers, spray bottles, and that's that wall. Red belly piranha, western ribbon snake, two butler gardener snakes. Right here is another custom tank. This is my veiled chameleon tank. It was made out of a china cabinet. This used to sit on, it looked like a little dresser. It, it was flipped. We flipped it upside down. This is actually upside down. It used to sit on those little wooden beams up there and we we use that so we can put the lights up there to kind of hide them and we got a red heat bulb UVB bulb cut cut out holes for the lights put screen in there we have um screen vents and have flaps on the other side so we can open and close them whenever we want one on this side one on this side the inside's lined with a uh, giant trash bag that actually went in really smooth. 
I didn't think it was going to come out that good, but it did. Here's my field chameleon. He's shedding. His name's Karma. It's a male. Uh, this is a live plant. It's called a house plant. And this is a live bamboo plant for him to climb on. He loves them. A uh, bunch of fake exoterra plants and exoterra background. Um, we put this barrier right here so we can put dirt and stuff in there and not get out. This food bowl. Glass doors. Made out of a china cabinet. Didn't pay nothing for it. My grandma gave me it. Paid 35 bucks for this. Look on Craigslist. You can find some good stuff on there. Below him, these are just my, some more of my animals. We got green Pac-Man frog with oak um, bedding, fishnet, homemade dripper right there. Who needs buying them when you can just make them out of it? I mean, they're really simple to make. It's just a tubbleware, a tube, and a screw in it. Why pay 10 bucks when you can... Make them for two bucks. Green pack makeup. This is gonna be my tailless whip scorpion. There he is. He's just got sand, piece of bark in there from the climb on a rock and a little water bowl. This is my rose hair tarantula. Exoterra plant, water bowl. He's got a hide. Um, he's got coconut um, shaved bedding, and that's my tarantula. This is this my cricket cage. This dude's got Exoterra. Yes, this is actually new. I just bought this a day or two ago. I actually have an unboxing video. Check it out and watch it. Um. But uh, yeah, he's probably the size of a uh, half dollar. They get pretty big, I guess. Eight, eight or nine inches. He's got a little moss pool right there, a regular water pool. Moss back there, fake exoterra plants. And this is my reptile room. And some of the cages I've built. Like, subscribe, Alligator Killer 98 look me up on Facebook and I'll be putting more updates on because every week I try to get a new animal so thanks YouTube for watching like rate subscribe alligator killer 98 out